Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's some of you man on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> I don't mean to flatter myself, but I'm pretty handy with a knife. Most of the work is going to be chopping the vegetables and dicing the meat. That shouldn't take me too long. Okay, I'll wash the vegetables first and organize everything I need before I get started. Oh, and I'll check on this chocolate Aki told me to use. Oh, ho, ho, it's really good quality chocolate, too. I've been to this chocolate store before. They make some great quality artisanal stuff. Um, it's pretty trendy with schoolgirls, mostly. Heh, <laughs> Aki usually isn't the one to have a sweet tooth. I guess this one is his weakness. And even then, he said it would take him a week to get through this one through this one bar. If it were me, it wouldn't last a single day. Alright, time to get cracking at making a kick-ass curry for KSK. Heh, <laughs> I guess... I guess I'm cooking for my boyfriend, huh? That's actually really nice to think about. While I'm working through peeling and chopping the onions, carrots, ginger, and potatoes, Keisuke finally comes back inside. Noticing me working in the kitchen, he walks up to me, taking a seat by the counter and resting his face on his arms. Tough call? Not really. Oh, what happened? It was easy. Surprisingly so. Really? That's a good thing, right? Good. My family doesn't do nice things like these just to be nice. I spent the past five minutes trying to work out what kind of angle they might have for this. Is that why you stayed outside for so long? Honestly, I was mostly just pacing back and forth, trying to think of possible reasons they might have. You worry too much. And you're too gullible if you think so. Maybe they just realize you might need some time to yourself after the tough conversation you had yesterday. Do you even hear yourself when you speak? Yes, it's how I know I have this super nice voice that sounds like hot caramel to the ears. <laughs> you, you certainly don't lack confidence. <laughs> I'm fine getting mocked a little bit if that brings a smile to his face. Although, I wish he weren't having such a hard time holding back his laughter. You could stand to laugh a little less hard, you know. So, um, well, I guess I'm in your care for tonight. Of course. Hell, you could stay for a few days if you want. Hmm, I don't think they'd allow that. You also didn't think they'd allow, allow you to stay for the first night. That's true. But I still didn't maintain that, but I still maintain they must have some kind of angle for this. It's something I didn't realize it could be exploiting. Who cares? Just enjoy your night away from home. Maybe you're right. Sitting around and worrying about endless possible scenarios where things go wrong probably isn't doing any good for my sanity. That's alright. I tend to have that habit sometimes, too. Maybe we're more compatible than we thought. Um, I'd rather you not, uh, say that out loud here. What? I wasn't even particularly loud. Yeah, but... Still clutching the knife in my hand, I point in the direction of the living room, toward the little Sheba still sitting on by the couch. I already know about you two, you numb nut. What? Can you can hear our conversation? Every word, especially yours. Your voice like hot caramel tends to boom pretty loudly indoors. Oh. Oh no, that's... that's... <laughs> Don't laugh! S sorry I... In case he covers his mouth with his right hand, tapping on the counter with his left, his face getting redder and redder as he continues to laugh. I hope you choke on your laughter. Don't say things like that. It just makes me laugh more. It's okay. You can make fun of an Iki, I'll allow it. Second, y'all, water time. You come from a land down under. God, I've been listening to that song a lot lately. Men at Work is a good band. It's okay, you can make fun of an Iki, I'll allow it. This doesn't concern you, brat, be quiet. Then don't, don't talk, don't talk so loudly in a public space. I wonder if I'd be able to hit him from here, hit him from here if I threw a potato at him. I have good aim, but probably not that good. Either way, my point was just that if you needed to stay a few days, that would be fine, too. Why does it have to be so difficult to get to? I appreciate it. Really, I do. Hell yeah! The title of Best Boyfriend is in the bag. By the way, since you're making dinner, can I help? Oh, I don't know. Can you? You taught me the basics. I can do that. I can do at least that much. Sorry, I'm already done with the prep work. I was gonna start cooking it now. Drat. What? Upset you didn't have a chance to help? Of course I am. I don't want to just be a burden while staying out while I'm staying over. You're not going to be a burden, you idiot. Besides, you're a guest. Hmm. You don't sound convinced at all. Seriously, you're a pain in the ass sometimes. Alright, fine. Since you really want to help, how about you take care of sautéing the onions and meat while I go to the bathroom? Certainly. I can handle something that simple. If I get back to this pot burning or covered in salt, I swear I will be furious. I'm not that inept. Anymore. Yeah, right. I'll believe that when I see it. But I do want a pee, so I'll let him handle this. Should It should just take a couple minutes anyway. Remember, once the meat starts browning, you lower the flame. Don't let it burn. 
I said I'm fine. Go away already. That's quite a bit of lip from the person who messed up catastrophically the last time I asked him for help. Whatever, I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. If he messes up again, I'll just make him eat it. A few minutes later. When I get back, I, I immediately smell the pleasant aroma of cooked onions and beef floating through the air. It's enough to make my stomach gurgle lightly on impact. Huh. Nothing seems ruined. You didn't set the house on fire. Kudos. Come on, do you have to be like that? I only ever messed up once. And that once was enough to leave a big impact, mister. I'm not letting you off the hook so easily. No, 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 no. I need to have materials so I can tease you on occasion. Everything looks to be in order. I can start adding the other ingredients like ginger, veggies, roux. It's roux. You're pretty knowledgeable about this stuff. I've been taught to cook when I was a child. And I've been doing it for almost ten years. I would certainly hope I know what I'm doing. Urata has also been cooking since he was a child, yet he still, pre yet he still prepares bioweapons instead of lunch. Shuichi is a special case. I don't blame him. Oh, make no mistake, the blame does not lie solely on him. All of you who constantly refuse to tell him the truth are as guilty in, are just as guilty in this. What? That's... that's not... That's just a really awkward conversation. No one likes being told they suck. So, in your mind, it, it's kinder to just let him suck. Uh, well, Jesus, it's getting hot in here. No one really benefits from it. You guys just created a monster who is constantly told his food is good by everyone. So even when I tell him it isn't, he just goes, nah uh everyone else really likes it. It's exhausting. Damn, Keisuke, do you really have to turn up the heat now of all times? I'm already squirming here. Yeah, guess you messed that up pretty bad, huh? <laughs> At least you admit it. If anything, I'm glad I'm not the usual target of his experiments. Oh, that's true. You're not even the one who was forced to try this stuff. You don't get to complain about it. Is what I, is what I want to say, but I know he'd tear me a new one if I tried that. I'm not exactly longing to find out what it feels like to get yelled at by Keisuke. I think I'm fine not knowing for the time being. Hey, right, I almost forgot to add the other ingredients. Is that so? Carefully, you don't burn it. Now you're just getting back at me for earlier. Absolutely. Ugh, you're so petty. No one finds that attractive. Stupid smug rabbit that isn't really a rabbit, but it's pretty much the same thing as one. Uh, by the way, and sorry if this comes across as stupid, but what's that chocolate for? Hmm? For the curry. You, you had chocolate to curry? Yeah, it's a pretty common thing. Did you not know that? I've... The only times I've seen curry prepared was when I was a child and my mom would make it. I didn't really remember mo much about what the ingredients she used. Well, I'm using a roux tablet. Those tend to be pretty bitter, so it's normal to add some chocolate to mellow the flavor out and make it more pleasant. Actually, even restaurants do it. it did, did you really not know? No, because he's a dummy bunny. One second, y'all. Water time. He's a dummy bunny. <laughs> do I look like someone who knows even a little bit about cooking? At point taken, you really don't. At least it is a normal thing. I was worried I was about to eat some Arata-level cooking there. What? That's just insulting. There's absolutely no way. I don't lack common sense. Fair point. Sorry. You have little faith. Haven't I already proved you time and time again that I can cook? And cook damn well, pride aside. That's some pretty good quality chocolate, though. Oh, does it even register as good quality you? I thought you'd say something like, What is this trash supposed to be? You peasants dare call it chocolate? When, in your experience, have I ever sounded like that? I don't know. There's a first time for everything. Really? Well, here's another first for you. Ah! My entire body tenses up and, I shiver, and I sh a shiver running from the base of my tail to the back of my neck. I jump forward immediately upon feeling something slap me hard on my, my, my bottom. What the hell was that? That's for trying to tease me and calling me a snobby rich guy in the process. That's not fair. I wasn't prepared for that. You can't just go around slapping people's butts like that. What if I had knocked something down? And now for my next trick. Watch me disappear into the living room before you can try to give me some kind of payback. Come back here, you fuck! Come back here, you fuck. Sorry, I'm going away now. I'm gone. Bye! Ah! I will have my revenge, just you wait! Preferably when I'm not stuck tending to a pot. Oh shit, I also need to make rice! Ah, my revenge gets farther and farther away! Just you wait, KSK. I will get back to you if it's the last thing I do. A few hours later... Huh, that was, uh, really... really good. I'm still flopped on the couch trying to digest my meal while Aki and Keisuke talk excitedly about tennis. In the time it took me to finish cooking, Aki took a bath and got changed. Good thing, too. No, that way he doesn't have to hear Keisuke complaining about how he stinks. For someone who claims to have a bad nose, he certainly is picky with that stuff. Hmm, if it were me, I'd focus on attacking his backhand. 
If you watch closely, you'll notice that he doesn't go for flats or topspin shots when he's forced, to, forced into using his backhand. I guess he's not confident in it, so, using, so he uses a slice 90% of the time. Oh, I hadn't noticed that. I mean, I noticed he uses a slice, he sl used slices a lot, but I didn't realize he was avoiding other kinds of shots. It's not uncommon for younger players to do that. The relative lack of experience means most don't have the training to properly employ shot variety. In his case, this guy seems like he focuses a lot on his forehand. Uh, so his forehand is pretty, is pretty rough. Hmm. I wonder if that's why he plays so aggressively. Still, his style is pretty, unorthodox, is pretty orthodox. He tries to start strong with a serve and then force his way into an advantageous position with strong shots. Even when he does mix it up, you can tell he's not as skilled outside of his forehand topspin. Also, notice how he always goes for a slice whenever he faults on the first serve. That is easily exploitable. He's afraid, to take, he's afraid to take risks, so he uses a shot that has a higher likelihood of going on. It, it's predictable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aki nods along to Keisuke's words, taking notes on different strategies and weaknesses he might take advantage of when playing against this kid. You know, it should be considered cheating to get this kind of intricate advice from a player like Keisuke. No matter what, he is always so thorough with his stuff. Actually, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. It doesn't help that Keisuke has been zeroing in, zeroing in to me more and more lately. I'm having to work my ass off to keep him down and when we play... It's because the damn bastard can predict most of my plays by now. Still, can't these two talk about anything else? I mean, I get that we're all tennis players, but I'm not the kind that does this. I'm not even part of the conversation as it stands. Second, y'all. Water time. Alright. That was the last video I had of him. Thank you for your help, Keisuke-san. It was my pleasure. Kick his ass. <laughs> I'll try my best. He's already beat me three times before. Then make sure not to give him a fourth. Yes, sir. You sure are a good student. Yeah, I need to do this kind of thing. I'm not a good enough. I'm not a good enough player to be able to play however I want without caring about my opponent. And being able to follow your own gameplay as if your opponent isn't there at all is certainly an enviable skill. On the other hand, it makes it, it makes it so aniki is no help when I try to ask for advice on this stuff. Hey, that's not fair. You know I'm not an analytical player. You have been changing a little bit on that end. You're being a bit more selective with your shots lately when we practice. It's only because I have to st I have to when I play with you. If I don't, there's a serious risk you might eventually overwhelm me. It's not as if I like doing it. Thinking too much makes my head hurt. You get upset when people call you an idiot. You say things like that. I can't help it, okay? I'm a person that moves mostly by instinct. It must be nice being an airhead. Those two aren't even remotely the same. You take that back! It sure would be nice having such overwhelming talent that you can afford to not even bother trying. That... that's not true at all. Don't... don't say things like that. I'm even trying my hardest in my own way, you know. Oh, Aniki, how about you come watch my match next week? It'd mean a lot to me if you did. Huh? What's with the sudden change in... Ow! And what do you think, Aniki? Can you come? Pretty please? Hmm, I don't know. When is the match anyway? I might have pra I might have practice. Oh, but... Uh, but I really wanted to come. I really wanted you to come. What am I saying? Of course I'll be there. Yay! What? Okay, I'll tell you the time tomorrow. We still need to decide on that. I'm gonna head to bed now, though. It's getting kind of late for me. Oh, that's true. It's already past ten. Wouldn't be good for you to stay up that late. The same goes to you. Be careful you don't end up like a zombie tomorrow. I'll be fine. KSK and I will go to bed in a bit. Gotcha. Good night, Aniki. Good night, KSK-san. Oh, hmm. Yeah, right. Uh, good night, Akiyoshi-kun. Aki bids us a final good night before walking up the stairs, leaving KSK and I alone in the living room. Are you okay? You look a bit out of it. I'm fine. Akiyoshi couldn't just elbowed me kind of hard. Huh? He did? When? Why? It's... you don't need to worry about it. No way. That's super rude. And after you were being so nice to him, too. I should go upstairs and chew him out for... Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It was an accident. Well, he... it was an accident while he was getting up. Oh, really? Then why didn't you lead with that? Jeez, making me get the wrong idea. You're the one jumping to conclusions. Of course I would be. You tell me someone elbowed you hard, what else am I supposed to think from that? take from that? There's no way I'd let my own brother get away with hurting a guest like that. Alright, you win this one. Thank you. Besides, I like Yakiyoshi-kun. I don't want him getting in trouble for my sake. You two sure seem to get along pretty well. It is nice talking to a fellow intellectual. Yakiyoshi-kun probably gets me on a spiritual level. Is that so? Sure sounds about right. Sunshine's sounds nice alright. Why don't you spend the night in his room then? You're not seriously getting jealous because I get along with your younger brother, do you? What? Me? No. After all, I'm too much of an idiot to even notice if things are being weird. What's with this all of a sudden? It's nothing. You don't need to worry about it. 
Yuichi. Yuichi. Even though this is your first time spending the night, you were fawning over Aki the whole time. Huh? I mean, come on, even I'm gonna get a bit jealous if you seem to only give attention to someone else when I'm around. Alright guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye